Welcome back. The monster trucks have started to arrive for tonight's TNT Super Nationals event. As they prepare for their competition, let's take a look at some of these trucks. This is the granddaddy of all monster trucks. The one responsible for the whole monster truck movement, Bigfoot. It was originally created as a promotional vehicle by Bob Chandler for his off-road accessory business. Today, Bob has 10. That's right, 10 Bigfoots. Or maybe that's 10 big feet. They're all alike. He needs that many to meet the worldwide demand for this unusual truck at events like the TNT Super Nationals here at the Houston Astrodome. Altogether, there will be 14 monster trucks on hand for tonight's competition. As they set up their pits and get the trucks ready under the changeable Houston sky, you can see they come in all shapes, but only one size, big. This is the Stomper, owned, built, and driven by Marvin Smith of Arnold, Missouri. Marvin, a lot of the trucks are front and rear wheel steering, right? Yes, this sir. It's a little unique. Yeah, my, the, the thing that's unique about my truck is mostly is because it's electric over hydraulic. Where, where a lot of them run off the, uh, off the motors, mine runs off the batteries. You can see, you can see the, the hydraulic lines coming down here, and the, and the pump is up underneath. But uh, the main thing about it is I run off two batteries in the back. For most people run theirs off the front of the motor. That's what gives me uh, more horsepower to the motor, and also it's smoother that way. A lot less kickback. What kind of batteries? I got two big Caterpillar batteries about that long. So it, uh, it, it takes a lot of juice to turn them wheels. A lot of power. It's a lot of power. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. This is the Grave Digger from Chesapeake, Virginia. And I'm with the owner-driver, Dennis Anderson. This is probably, Dennis, the most unique monster truck on the circuit right now. We've got, looking at panel delivery, it's the only one, right? Right. Dating from what, 1950? Right, 1950. What made you decide to use a panel delivery truck? Well, when you look down the lines of monster trucks, everything's a squared off Chevrolet, squared off Ford. This is really an eye catcher. You know, you catch all those trucks lined up and this truck stands out. Pretty much love it, don't you? Right. The tires are different on this one uh, from, from most of the monster trucks I've seen. Right, well, these are a, these are a Firestone. They're, a, they're called a steel shield tire. It's a steel belted tire. It's 50 inches wide. The other tires are 43 inches wide. This is a 10-ply tire. The other tires are six-ply nylons. And I run these tires because I don't think they bounce as bad. You know, it doesn't have a round surface that's flat. Uh -huh. They jump and they land on the ground. They get going instead of having a lot of rebound. Well, let's look at what makes all this work for you now. What kind of power are we talking about here? All right, this is an 1800 horsepower road axe. Uh -huh. It's a it's an aftermarket, it's an aluminum motor, and it's got a set of uh, Batman aluminum heads on it. And most of the monster trucks out here run a like an 871 blower. This has got a 1271. How much horsepower are we talking about? 1800 horsepower. Well, now, how unique is it to have the engine in the rear? Well, really, what I put the engine in the rear for was to keep the keep the weight off the front of it from nose diving. Uh -huh. And, you know, it holds the, holds the nose up, and sometimes you can get too rear end heavy, too. And I haven't worked enough with this truck to really tell yet. I might have to move the motor ahead some, but, you know, instead of adding weight to the truck, I'd like to use the weight that's there. Are you the one that originally came up with the rear engine concept? Yeah. I started out in, uh, six years ago mud bogging, and I put the motor in the rear to get traction, and I figured it worked in mud bogging, and common sense, you know, you want to keep the weight off the nose, I figured it'd work in a monster truck, so I gave it a whirl. Okay, good luck to you, buddy. All right, thank you. Aside from the competition, one of the things the fans like about these big monsters are the customizing jobs. This is Jeff Dane's Awesome Kong. That's one skinny truck. With that in mind, here's our weekly feature, How to Trick Out Your Truck. Brought to you by Rally, the auto... Not all of the action in the Astrodome involves the big monster trucks. We've got the tractor pulls and truck pulls, and some very special opening ceremonies. 43 local Houston truck owners were selected last week at a competition from over 130 trucks entered for the honor of participating in the gala opening ceremony truckers parade. These truck owners had a few nights of practice to make sure the truckers parade and flag ceremony is a success. Congratulations to all the Houston truckers who were selected to carry the colors. Well, that's about all the time I have out here today. 
Before I go inside, I want to thank TNT for letting us come to the Astrodome and take a close-up look at these big monster trucks. I also want to thank Scott House. He's the president of the Vintage Truck Club of Unit, Arizona, and he wrote us a letter. He told us about their recent truck event and enclosed a picture of his favorite truck, Old Yeller. Old Yeller is a 1953 half-ton custom cab five window. And as Scott tells us, she's the love of his life. Thanks for the letter, Scott, for being selected as this week's viewer's truck of the week. We'll be sending you along a truck and USA t-shirt right away. I hear him revving them up inside. For Bobby Archer and Jim Bridges, I'm Ed Bruce. Have a good day. If you have any questions about today's show, call 213-207-3515. Now here's something of interest for automotive enthusiasts. Just incredible. You know, for six award-winning seasons, we've shared the excitement. As fearless competitors push too far, yet miraculously, we've watched them walk away. Diamond P has now captured all this excitement on a spectacular new home video called and they walked away. The mayhem of motocross, the tumbles of sprint cars, the spins of stock cars. 60 minutes of breathtaking footage. For your copy, call 1-800-453-9300 or send a check or money order to this address. Just $24.95 plus 350 shipping and handling. Visa and MasterCard accepted. Call 1-800-453-9300 now.